Welcome to the VROPS uh, A.6 UI navigation uh, demo. During VMworld 2021, we announced uh, vRealize Operations A.6, which provides a lot of uh, new features and capabilities. With the new UI release, some of the content might not be where we are used to finding it in the previous versions. In this demo, we will navigate through some of the changes that have happened in the UI. Let's jump into it. If we're looking at VROPS 8.5 and below, we notice that there used to be a top menu as well as a side menu. Many of the menu options across the top were duplicated on the left-hand navigation menu and were consolidated in this release. We can now find all of these uh, shortcuts on the left side here. The home screen, it's still very familiar where we have the quick start page. We still have our four pillars although some of them have been modified and improved. Troubleshooting pillar now includes a link that goes directly to my dashboard's homepage, as well as the applications. You're also gonna notice that under Manage Configuration, we have a new item called to Sustainability, which includes a combination of dashboards which help us be more energy efficient, more carbon neutral, and eliminate electronic waste. If we go towards the bottom, we're also going to notice a couple of additional links. Links to the code samples exchange, uh, introduction to Viralize operations, which actually takes us to our Pathfinder, where we have uh, a lot of introductory videos. We also have uh, ebooks, uh, data sheets that are available for consumption so you can get the better understanding of the product. On the left side, under extended monitoring, we have another link that goes through the True Visibility Suite Pathfinder page, where you can explore some of the additional capabilities that the True Visibility brings. You're also going to notice that uh, we introduced the Swagger UI for the REST API calls, making it a lot easier to make those uh, REST API calls. If we look on the left side, now we have a list of uh, the new menu items that have been consolidated or moved to make easier navigation. The first one on the list is the data sources. Under data sources, I have all of my integration points, things like my vCenter servers, my AWS accounts, uh, TANS emission control, Kubernetes. Uh, it has all been consolidated into this uh, integration. If I go back, I also have the repository where I can go and download additional management packs to add additional capabilities to the product. Right under data sources, we have the environment. The environment now includes my object browser, my inventory, the business applications, the custom groups, the data centers. Uh, they're all included under the environment now. Uh, I'm gonna jump into the object browser. The object browser has been uh, revamped and now it makes it a lot easier to navigate. We also notice that the sign menu automatically collapses for me so that I can have more space to navigate through some of the items that I want to have in my object browser. As I browse through this, we can see that uh, I no longer have to go back and forward between different pages. I can easily have uh, everything in one page. I can switch from my object browser to the correlation mapping by pressing this, uh, this switch that I have here. And it automatically changes for me so that I can see the correlation mapping between the items related to the object that I'm looking at. If I want to navigate to some of the other menu items, I can either expand uh, the menu, which allows me to browse to the next item, or I can also hover over it, which makes it a lot easier to navigate between pages. I also have uh, the old uh, inventory page that uh, I used to have in the previous releases. The dashboards have all been moved to my uh, visualize submenu, where I can go to dashboards. Now we have the ability to uh, favorite dashboards as well as have recent dashboards in here. I also have the capability to search. I can easily search for VM contention, for example. And you can see that it automatically updates on my right side without having to navigate to different pages. The other items like uh, views and reports have also been revamped so that they take advantage of the new UI. Next one is the troubleshooting. Here I can see the alerts that I have around the environment, administrative alerts, the troubleshooting workbench, as well as the log analysis. Now, if I go to the alerts, you're gonna notice that the alert definitions are no longer in here. They are actually under the configuration page where I can go to 
look at the alert definitions, the symptom definitions, I can make uh, new actions, the recommendations are all in here. Everything that's related to the alerts is now under the configuration page. The optimization is now uh, located under optimize. We also have a couple of additional items that will be grouped in here, like the reclamations, the workload placement, the right sizing, as well as compliance. They can all be easily found under the optimize menu. The what if analysis has been changed under the plan menu. Here, I can go directly to my what if analysis scenarios, uh, just like I used to be able to do it in the previous releases. You're going to notice that uh, we also have a new item in here called cost. Here, I can see a nice overview of my vSphere on-prem costs. If I have anything in AWS or AVS, as well as uh, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Let's jump into configuration. The configure submenu now includes items like uh, policies, the super metrics, the application discovery, the monitoring, the cost settings, uh, things that are related to the configuration of the product and how the users actually use the product. If we go to the administration page in here, this page now includes things that are related directly to operations like access control, uh, certificate management, authentication sources, the log forwarding, anything that uh, relates to product administration versus uh, configuration for uh, integrations within the product. And with that, I want to thank you for watching. If you don't currently have an operations instance available to test this out, I would encourage you to request a trial on VMware.com.